In this video, we'll take these three shapes, turn them into this, then into this, and ultimately into this. So dare I say it, let's dive in. Now we are going to build this from scratch. I just wanted to keep these here as a reference. So let's go and grab the ellipse tool, drag out an ellipse. So here in the properties panel, let's set the fill to this yellowy orange color, a stroke of none, and let's set the width and the height to 200 pixels. Okay, let's drag out another ellipse. Let's set it to blue as a fill, and its width and height need to be 100. We just need that rectangle now. So grabbing the rectangle tool, click and drag, let's set a width of 300 and a height of 100. Let's now go and grab the selection tool and let's start arranging these. So I'm just going to select them all. Here in the properties panel, the align section, let's right align all of these. I'm going to grab the two circles, align them to the top. I'm going to select the big circle and the rectangle, click once on the big circle to make it the key object, and then choose bottom align, and they'll all nicely align to the key object. I'll click away to deselect, and we are done. So guys, we have perfectly reproduced that artwork. So let's zoom in nice and tight just now. And let's go and grab the shape builder tool, this guy just here. Now the way this tool works is, you first want to select all the artwork you're going to combine. Anything you want to combine, just simply click and hold with the mouse and drag over it. If you wish to remove anything from the final artwork, just hold down the Alt or the Option key and drag over those pieces, like so. And guys, we are done. Now you don't have to keep dragging out copies like I'm going to. You can keep working on the same artwork. I'm just doing this so we can see exactly where we've been. So grabbing the selection tool, I'll just hold down the Alt or the Option key and drag out a copy like so. So let's zoom in again on this and let's uh, smooth out some of these corners. So let's go and grab the direct selection tool and I'll click away to deselect everything and then just click and drag to select this corner just here. Now when you have some corners highlighted, the little corner widget will show up just here. It's this little donut looking circle just here. If you click and drag on it, you can actually change that corner like so. Now if I click away and come back at any future time, I can see that this is live, so I can easily adjust this like so. Now in this case, I'm gonna push this as far as it will go, just to get this arc nice and smooth all the way to the end. Again, set this to whatever you think looks good. And also the very peak of the wave just here, that's very, very sharp. I might just smooth that out a touch. So I'll select that point just there and grab the corner widget and just smooth it off a tiny bit just there. Okay guys, so our wave is now complete. Let's go and grab the selection tool again. And again, I'll just drag out a copy like so. Now we want to repeat this wave. So of course we could just hold down the Alt or the Option key, start dragging out copies. This will get tedious very quickly if we need a lot of them. So let me show you a cool way to do this dynamically. Let's delete that copy. So selecting the wave just here, let's go up to Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform. So this panel opens up just here. Make sure the preview is turned on. And we have options here for scaling and moving. In this case, we wish to move it horizontally. So if I drag this slider all the way to the right, it will max out at 100. But don't worry, you can click in here and type in any number you like. So for example, if I typed in 300 pixels here, I'll press tab just to commit that one change. Because this artwork is 300 pixels wide and I am moving at 300 pixels, those two elements are now perfectly aligned end to end. But you don't have to do that, of course, you can put in any number you like. So for example, if I click in here, I can press the up and down arrow keys to change these one pixel at a time. 
or holding down the shift key, I can move them 10 pixels at a time. So for example, 250 pixels is looking pretty good here. I'm kind of liking that overlap just there. Now, of course, we don't want to be moving this artwork. We want to be creating copies. So that's what this copies field is all about just down here. So I'll click in here and press my up and down arrow keys. And let's see, three copies here is looking pretty good. I'll choose OK just now. OK, so this is looking great, but a few things left to show you. So I'll click on this again. And remembering that this is a live effect. So here in the properties panel, where I have, for example, the fill and the stroke, I also had this transform effect showing up just now. So if I click on it, the same panel opens up that we saw a moment ago, and we can easily make changes. So for example, the move option, I could easily change that, change the number of copies, whatever I like. In this case, I like what we had, so I'll just cancel out of there. Now guys, as far as Illustrator is concerned, these waves here don't really exist. They're basically virtual copies of this artwork just here. If I go up to the view menu and choose outline, we can see that just here. There's the artwork of the original piece. The copies don't show up. So let's go back into the preview mode just there. I might uh, move all of my artwork up just a little bit here and drag out a copy of this guy. So holding down alter option, drag out a copy with the selection tool. And what I'll do as this final step is actually convert all of this into a single graphic. So with this selected, Object, Expand Appearance. Now when I did that, that effect disappeared because all of these are now actual artwork as far as Illustrator is concerned. If I go back up to View, Outline, sure enough, these are now showing up as separate vector paths. Let's go back into Preview. Now also with this selected, here in the Properties panel, we can see this is a group. So I could, for example, right mouse click on this and choose ungroup, at which point I would be free to independently move these around. I'll just undo that, because what I'm thinking is I would like to now actually combine all of these together. Again, you don't have to, just wanted you to see this as a possibility. So if I select all of these, let's go back to our good old Shape Builder tool, and I'll just now drag over all that artwork. And guys, we are done. So that's the final piece of artwork just there. Actually, let's preview this one last time. And when I say preview, I mean outline, of course. So there we go. There's our final piece of artwork. Jumping back into preview like so. So I hope that wasn't too fast. But that's showing how you can start with three basic shapes just here and ultimately turn it into this. I hope that helps. Catch you later.